What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create and modify a topo surface. So the first thing that we'll be doing, we're going to create a topo surface from a CAD file. So, so as you can see, currently I'm on the site plan. So what we are going to do is we're going to import a AutoCAD drawing that contains the site uh, the site model or the site plan. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and select the insert tab and then I'm going to select uh, import CAD. So let me click that one and then I'll be selecting uh, top of surface. Okay, and then I'll just uh, clear, make sure the current view only is clear. The reason for that is that for us to be able to see this AutoCAD drawing in other view, like in the 3D view or section view. Okay, if you are going to check this, you will only see your top surface on the current view, which is our site plan. But if you want to see this CAD drawing in 3D model or in 3D view or section view or elevation view, so you can just uncheck this one. Okay, so let's uncheck this and let us preserve the color. And then I'll be using here an auto center to center uh, position. Okay, and then that's it. I'll just select here open. All right, so let us just wait. Right click, uh, zoom to fit. And there you go. So there's our CAD drawing. Okay, so as you can see here, the orange colored lines define the parking area and the road. And the violet here, which is this one, let me just, okay. So this one, the violet uh, color here, that indicates the uh, building pad. Okay, so what else do we have here? So we have the orange, so we have the, the building pad and the blue lines here or the uh, blue uh, curves and then the green uh, curves that indicates the data for the top of surface okay so let us create now the top of surface so to create that let us just go to the massing inside you can see here the model side so let us click the top of surface so let's click this one Okay, and then from here on the tools panel, so I'm going to click the drop down arrow here. I'm not going to place it manually by placing a point on my drawing. So I'm just going to use here the create from import drop down. And then I have here an option select import instance. Okay, so I'll be selecting this. So let's click that. And then after that, we are now going to select our CAD drawing. So let's click this one. There you go. And then as you can see here, I have here the add points uh, selected layers. So I'm going to select check none. I do not want to import all of these layers. So I'm just going to check here the contour and then the index. Okay. And then after that, I'm just going to select here. Okay. And that's it. There you go. So there's my uh, top of surface. And then don't forget to click here, finish surface. So let's click that one. And there you go. If I'm going to open the 3D view, so this is now how it looks like. Right? So as you can see, there's our CAD drawing. We can still see that because of the option current view only is unchecked a while ago. And then this is our top of surface. Okay, so going back to my site plan here, I'm going to change my visual style. So let's say I'm just going to make this wireframe. The reason I changed that to wireframe for me to be able to see the layout of my AutoCAD drawing. Because if this is in shaded view, we cannot see the layout of my parking area, the road, and then the building pad. Because it is being covered by the uh top of surface so that's why i'm going to change this i'm gonna make that wire frame there you go 
Alright, so the next thing that we will be doing is we are now going to split our surface, our topo surface. So we are going to separate our parking area, we are going to separate our uh, road, and then later on we will be doing or we are going to create a building pad. Okay, so let's split first our surface. So from the modify side, there is this split surface tool. So I'm going to select this one. And then let's select the top of surface. And then on the modify split surface, I'll be using here the pick lines. So let me select that. And then I'm going to hover my pointer to this line here or to this side here. And then I'm going to press tab once. So as you can see, it will highlight the connection or chain of lines there. So again, using the pick lines. I'm going to hover my pointer to highlight this line. Do not click. Just move your pointer over that line and then uh, press tab like that. Okay. So if it, if this one doesn't select the chain of lines, just like what I've just selected. So what you do is you just continue pressing tab until it highlights the chain of lines that we would like to select just like this one so once it highlights like this so you can now click that just like that and then after that just finish the splitting of the surface so click that one so as you can see it's now split so just select your modify for the meantime as you can see it's now split so i have a surface here and i also have a surface here right so this is the surface one and then I have another surface here, which is this one. All right. Now, the next thing that we'll be doing, so let us also uh, separate the road. So let's split that. So I'm going to select split surface, select the top of surface, which is this one. Not this one, not this one, but this one. Okay, so let's click that. And then let's use the peak lines. And then I'll be selecting this line here. And then after that, just finish edit mode. And that's it. So as you can see, this is now my parking area. And then this is now my road here. Now, I want to separate or also or split the island here. This island here and then this one as well. All right. So again, uh, using split surface, make sure you select modify to terminate any selection or terminate any tool. So click modify and then let's go back again to split surface. Let's select our top surface, which is this one. So you click that. And then let's use the line tool or the peak lines tool. And then hover your pointer and then press tab. Just like that. And then click. And then check. All right. So same procedure. So I'm going to select modify, split surface. Again, uh, let's select this uh, top surface. And then peak lines, and then hover your pointer, press tab, click, and then check. And that's it. Then select your modify. So as you can see, it's now separated. So this is my building pad, or I mean the top surface that is splitted. Okay, so we have the road here. This one, we have the parking area. Okay, so now the next thing that we'll be doing, we're going to change the material. So I'm going to select the parking area. This is the parking area. Let's go to the properties, change the material, and then let's look for uh, asphalt, AS. Do we have asphalt? Asphalt. Asphalt that one site asphalt so just click that and then select your okay and that's it so if you change your visual style to shaded so this is now how it looks like so you now have your asphalt material here so in 3d view so this is how it looks like all right now the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to use site tools and add site components on our next video. So for now, so this is how you create your top surface. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.